This segment is sponsored by the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. Join us in preserving and protecting Tennessee's wildlife. All right, welcome back, everyone. You can call us here at 737-7767. We'll be glad to answer any questions you might have till those calls still are coming in. We have with us two guests tonight. We have with us Anthony Landreth and Mike Adams. Both of them represent the Brad Deming Memorial Bicycle Fund. 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 Yeah. Or charity. What, what, yeah, we just got our but, official name is Fund. It's, it's Fund. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. But what you guys actually do, and we're cutting it down a little bit, is you actually sell outdoor sporting events such as a hunt or uh, a fishing trip or this or that or a clay shoot, whatever the case may be, getting people in the outdoors. But then taking the proceeds from that and buying bicycles for kids that normally would never have an opportunity to get a bicycle. That's exactly, exactly right. Exactly he, we, right. We, uh, we met this week, uh, the Baller Rotary Club, they invited us to come speak. And we went ahead and set a goal for 300 plus bikes this year. That's we, a great goal. Yeah, we did yeah. 263 last year and the three years before that we only did eight, uh, 88. And of course while we was there at Walmart, uh, give us a thousand dollar check. That's great. Left out of there, uh, Carl Dorn in on the side of Murray, Kentucky, with Snipe Creek Lodge. He called. And he donated two high dollar hunts, five nights, four days, and Carl's got some big bucks oh, up there. Oh man! Yeah. And, uh, and also this week with the uh, Southern Woods Waters Radio, you had Jimmy White on there. Yeah. And Jimmy has donated two coyote hunts. And, uh, we well, it's went, a hunt for two people. A hunt for two people. A hunt for two people. And we uh, we went live with that last night on. Uh, Tennessee, Tennessee Deer Hunters, where we always go. Yeah. Thanks to West Stone for that. Yeah, West, sure. uh, awesome job, West. But that thing has jumped up to six hundred and seventy-five dollars. Hasn't well, even been it? up twenty-four <laughs> hours yet. That's awesome. And even also got a taxidermist, Tim Rixey, with Nature's Legacy. He does awesome shoulder mounts yep, of coyote. Absolutely. He's donating a two hundred fifty-dollar mount. And then it's a guy, uh, Dalton Hillard from Kentucky. He uses coyote decoy dogs. And he said that if whoever the auction winners want to use them, they can. And then Randy Walls, uh, he's one of mine and Brad's <laughs> buddies that we played ball with on the same baseball team when we was kids. This he lives in Indianapolis now. And uh, he uh, he just got on there and he said, I'll donate two. He said, I'll add $200 to the bid. Goodness. Yeah, so whoever's bid. He <laughs> just added so whoever we were there, yeah, and they I mean, went back and yeah, verified yeah, they said, we're well, behind we're it, you know. Yeah, they're getting behind it. That's yeah. a great call. So yeah. He looked bid 475, and he spotted 200 on it. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got some callers here. Who do we have here on two? Scott, how can we help you tonight? You know, I've got a story to share with you all. Okay. Sure. Uh, I went catfishing here a couple weeks ago. Took a boy trout, uh, put out a trout line. Cause he had never done it. We well, got it out, got the hooks on. Come back through, back it up. Before we got it baited up, we caught three channel cats on bare hooks. Have you ever heard anybody catching channel cats on bare hooks? Uh, only when they're hungry. <laughs> yeah, they must have been around. Caught bluegill on bare hooks. So. Yeah, I've seen them on the River in Baltimore yeah. a couple yeah, times. They, yeah. Yeah. They'll do it sometimes. They've got to be reacting to the flash. They see that flash. Yeah, that's right. The they're flash. Just that's snapping exactly flash. what they do is they see that flash. That's the. Uh, yeah. But yes, it has happened. But dude, let me tell you something. That's a memory. Yeah. That is a great yeah. memory. Yeah. It don't happen often. It don't happen <laughs> often. I caught, one, I caught one here and there, but I caught three right there in a row. That's on great. Hooks. Yeah, that's that's a rarity right there. But uh, I do. It does happen, but it is rare. Just uh, keep that in your memory box. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a good one. <laughs> I, I was planning on it. it and is. by the way, oh. congratulations. That, that's pretty good to be. Baiting one up, and you already got to go run some yep. catfish down. Yeah. We did the same yeah, thing, real quick. That's how we did. Uh, well, I'll let y'all go. We're down those. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for calling. Thank you. Yeah, we did that uh, at Real Foot. Yeah. With the, the little uh, I think we were on, with the yo -yo. I think we were on number four when we got the we first fish on. We were on number four. We had number four. We were off. setting it up. And <laughs> number two was already over there. Yeah, bouncing. it was already bouncing. That's good days when that happens. <laughs> but, you know, the fishing is good. Uh, fishing is good right now. So it is. It is. Yeah, in the wind. And, we we and took the a girl, and, uh, Lisa Atkins, and she's, she's wanting to get involved with us in our charity, but she has a lot of connections with the... Uh, the music business. Yeah. Of course, and, uh, she graduated with Brad, matter of fact, and she grew up in the same neighborhood we did. And so Mike and I took her fishing. I thought we caught 42 crappie and bass and brim. 
And so she called me this morning and she's talked to some people and she said, I think y'all gonna like what I'm lining up for y'all. So It'd be awesome. It, it's y'all just wouldn't believe people coming out of the woodwork. Got an awesome muzzleloader, huh? I think I told you about because she said they had to get the tag in, in August in yeah. Illinois. Yeah, that's in Illinois. Yeah. That's yeah. at um, uh, what is that? I can't even think of the name of it now. Um, God, graveyard deer, deer graveyard sir. deer that's what they yeah. use graveyard deer oh, uh, that's a guy we met at uh, the nwtf this this year up yeah. here in uh, nashville we made a lot of connections there yeah, well that's a great place yes. to make yeah. Yeah. Oh, we, we sure did we made a lot of connections there well the the brad how can folks get involved i mean well say somebody wants to to go fishing with some of us or or on one of these lakes or something that Nobody, you know, hardly anybody's got. Well, I think I, pretty much the, the way our model's been running, and, and it's changing daily, but used to we would have to beg people, you know, to like, hey, can we do a hunt on your property or something? Now, believe it or not, they're calling us, say, hey, I got a farm. Y'all can turkey hunt. I got somebody that'll take them. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, got a guy named Corey Gutzel lives down Perry County, and he got Justin Miller. And I know y'all know Justin. Oh, yeah. He, oh, yeah. He's a turkey slaying dude, you know, and he guided somebody, for, you know, on the bike fun. But, we do fishing trips, and luckily Wes lets us uh, run them on. Mm -hmm. I mean, we run them with Tim Hart lets us do it on West West T N Deer Hunters too. Mm -hmm. They're like fifteen thousand strong, but you know when you got sixty thousand people like Tennessee Deer Hunters, I'm telling you, you reach out to yeah. some you reach people out some that folks. way. But yeah. I tell you what, we would really like, and my, I know Mike and I have talked about it. I wish we could get some folks, maybe Middle or East Tennessee, to jump in, and, and you know, because the way we do the bikes, Mike, you can tell them how we do uh, that because they, they don't just stay in our town. Yeah, they, they don't just no stay. Means. Everybody, and I've had people. Tell me, well, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna bid on this hunt and get it here, but the bikes are gonna go back to West Tennessee. And this is some of my Georgia friends. No, what we do is we take 40% of what that bid brings. That stays with you wherever you are in that hunt, yeah. wherever you're from. Wherever the donor donates. Wherever the donor they donates. Get to take the school. The other 40% will go over to the school. 20% comes back to Hardeman County because that's where Brad was from. And the other so 40 goes to whoever wins the auction. So, right. uh, yeah. and, and the so. other good thing about it is, is you pick the school. You tell yep. me what you got some school in your heart you love that you went to. You pick the school, we can make the contact with the school systems, and at that point, we'll tell them how many bicycles we have, when we can come, they pick the kids. The teachers, you guys know, the teachers know the kids, they know who needs a bike they and who doesn't. They got their finger on the pulse. Yeah, absolutely, exactly right. absolutely. They know. So, uh, so, so we go from there. Uh, well, matter of fact, this year, since we saw you guys last time, we'll be in Illinois, Kentucky, uh, Texas, Tennessee, Georgia, Mississippi. Yep. Just this year. Last year we were in West Tennessee in what, three or four counties? Yep. Three or four counties, 11 schools. This year we're going to be in six states. We did an awesome That's hog awesome. hunt down in That's Mississippi. A six year old boy oh. killed a, for his first hog, and it was the biggest one. His dad killed one. And his son's always deer hunts his favorite thing. Well, his son told him after that, he said, Dad, I think I like hog hunting better than I do deer hunting. Now. <laughs> yeah, <that's what laughs> that hog hunt was pretty fun. Yeah, that, he, he, was, he was hooked on that, I'm going to tell you. He sure was. Well, like, we like, went to uh, Sheriff Monty Blue in yeah. Henry County. Mm -hmm. uh, we went up there and sat down with him one day, and uh, within five minutes, of course, uh, Yule Owen, I call him Butch on Facebook the site. The Colonel. Yeah, the Colonel. And within five minutes, when he found out what he was doing, he said, look, guys, I, I think what y'all doing is great. He said, I'll tell you right now, I'll donate three juvenile hunts with lodging, and I'll cook them a steak every yeah, night. Yeah, we just kept talking to him. He said, we'll, we'll do lodging. Well, we'll do we'll do a steak. We'll drive them out to the steak. Oh, so, my goodness. You know, yes. just, now, i tell you what, Monty Ballou's a fine officer and, and sheriff. I mean, one of the best of West Tennessee. Yep. I wish the other sheriffs would jump in and, and see if they can challenge money a little yeah. bit. We'd love to be, our goal right now is to be in every county in West Tennessee in two years. Well, that two years is getting here pretty quickly, and we picked up, we have six or seven counties left is all in West Tennessee. And But all the other states we picked up. The uh, one I can't wait for is next year in Texas. Uh, we had this whole big ranch by ourselves. We went out there this year. I mean, we had to pay, but the guy, uh, Duck Madeira with D3 Outdoors, invited us to go. And the, guy, and the ranch owner, he gave us a real good deal. And uh, out of two trips that D3 guys went out there, Mike and I went one, killed 16 birds. And we, and, and we talked the landowner into donating two next year. <clears throat> Told them they could pick the school, and him and his wife both said, "Can we go to the school, y'all?" I mean, his driveway's like eight miles long, just on a dirt road. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> other houses. It dead ends at his house, you know. And but, you know, we Tennessee boys out there. He had a small plot. It was uh, four thousand acres, and yep. his great uncle has twelve thousand. Oh yeah. my goodness! They us, talk in sections out there. Yeah, they don't yeah. talk in acres. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. told Mike and I, "I said, look, I normally won't let nobody go without a guide, but he said." 
if you run up on a gravel road, always turn left. If you run up on a barbed wire fence, turn right, and watch out for Western Diamondbacks. And then the last day, he told no, and us. he said, and don't well, get lost. Yeah, when he found out how far we, because those are mountains out there to us. It was oh, yeah. hill yeah. country, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And then he said, man, I had no idea y'all was going out that far. He said, that's where we always see the mountain lions up here. <laughs> you know? But he told us that on the last night. Yeah, on the last night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you, that Saturday morning, we got there Friday afternoon, and um I was supposed to let Mike shoot, but I couldn't find the camera, and then the bird got to get away before he couldn't shoot, so I had to shoot it. It was one pound shy of the state record. And, and I mean, good. It, one yes, pound. and I mean, it, it was a big bird, too. I mean, we just, I, I can't wait. Well, we we were there two, Saturday, but it was 35 birds gobbling within 400 yards of us. That, that Friday afternoon, we killed two birds, what, 15 minutes apart, yep. 20 minutes apart? And, um, it's a long walk in those Texas hills carrying <laughs> yeah. birds that are 23 and 26 pounds. I'll tell you oh, what. The first three hours, I couldn't even think about nothing because I was, when he said that about Western Diamondbacks, you know, I'm just a boy from West Tennessee. You're worried about cotton mouse down there. But, you know, I was going, man, I don't want to sit down. And then when I killed that second turkey, I stuck cactuses all in my pants right don't there. Don't ever kneel down in Texas. Well, well I mean, we've sat down, but when I shot, I rolled on over. Uh -huh. and, and Mike said, you all right? And I said, man, I got cactus all. <laughs> but I tell you what, next year the hunt that he's donated to us, two hunts and D3 Outdoors is going to cover the, yeah, uh, the, the lodging, lodging for that. But we're going opening weekend, so the winners yeah. of this one, we're going to be on Virgin yeah. Birds. They'll I mean, be the going first weekend, it's, that's, that's it's just going to be an awesome going, thing to have. And he's going to let us auction off too. All right, guys, we got to do a little uh, tip of the week here. Yes, yeah, we. Okay, here we go. This week's tip of the week is being brought to you by Phoenix Custom Quality Rods. Let me tell you something, they've got two great rods that you need to try out for all your bass fishing and trout fishing needs. All uh, right, so we got uh, uh, our tip. Guys, it's hot. Sun's out. Everybody needs to use suntan, some type of sunscreen yes. to, to to keep myeloma, <clears throat> cancer, and all that away from them. We highly recommend it, but here's something you might not have known. <coughs> if you put this on, you've got to thoroughly wash your hands completely before you ever touch that bait. If you ever touch the bait, it does not matter if it's a minnow, an earthworm, a cricket, artificial lure, whatever, you won't catch many fish because this right here will is a detractor. It makes them go away from you. So if you want to use it, use it. And I highly recommend to use it, but wash your hands. Carry you some, uh, uh, what do they call the? Uh, well, sanitizer. Yeah, the, the san water. sanitizer. Yeah. Carry some of that with you and sanitize your hands after you apply this. And that way you can touch the bait, touch the live bait, whatever. But I promise you, you'll catch more fish if you'll do that, then just putting this on and touching that minnow. That's a good tip too if your buddy's out fishing you, you know. Yeah, you I was just that. fishing to <laughs> say that, Brandon. That's yeah. what I was thinking. I was fishing to add that on there. Let me Guys, check that knot yeah, on that yeah. line. Yeah. We're going to take another quick break. We'll be right back with some more Southern Woods and Waters. <laughs>